Democrats are hoping that Republican disarray over the Donald Trump campaign can help them recapture the U.S. Senate this fall. The current lineup has 54 Republicans, 44 Democrats, and two independents who caucus with the Democrats. That means Democrats need to gain at least four seats for control, five if Donald Trump wins. The red states where they are defending... There you see 24 Republicans defending seats. The dark blue represents 10 states where Democrats are the incumbents up for election. The latest polling has incumbent Republican Marco Rubio in a virtual tie with one of two Democratic challengers in Florida. In Pennsylvania, incumbent Pat Toomey is essentially tied with challenger Katie McGinty. And in Ohio, incumbent Rob Portman, the Republican, is up by nine. Illinois is definitely in play as well. Republican Senator Mark Kirk could be in serious trouble against Democratic Congresswoman Tammy Duckworth. Correspondent Mike Tobin looks at that contest from Chicago tonight. With control of the Senate up for grabs, one of the seats viewed as most vulnerable is Illinois Senator Mark Kirk's. His challenger is Democratic Congresswoman Tammy Duckworth. Since Illinois has long been dominated by Democrats, Duckworth connects the incumbent with all things Republican, the Koch brothers, and Donald Trump. Mark Kirk, you know, when he, en he endorsed Donald Trump after he said that all Mexicans were rapists, he endorsed Donald Trump after he called um, women pigs and dogs. She breezes over the fact that Kirk was the first Republican in the Senate to rescind his endorsement of Trump. Kirk won't vote for former Secretary Clinton. He says she's, quote, too corrupt for the country now. Instead, he plans to write in another former Secretary of State's name, Colin Powell. Thank you, Kirk is trying a very difficult task of keeping all the Republican votes, but somehow gaining the independent vote. And for that, he can't be a Trump supporter, and he certainly can't be a right-wing conservative. At the risk of alienating the conservative minority in Illinois, Kirk has supported abortion rights and gay marriage. He met with Merrick Garland, President Obama's stalled nominee for the Supreme Court, and encouraged fellow Republicans to man up and vote on his confirmation. Kirk also made a point of not attending the Republican convention. I wanted people of Illinois to realize that I was independent of the Republican Party. Both Kirk and Duckworth are veterans. Duckworth was shot down over Iraq, losing both legs. She doesn't shy away from her injuries as she says she is committed to veterans. Twelve years ago, I was co-piloting a Black Hawk helicopter over Iraq. Kirk suffered a stroke in 2012. He can walk, but mostly gets around in a wheelchair. However, following a series of verbal gaps, his limitations could work against him. That disability is actually a little bit of a handicap because it, everyone is asking the question, well, is he really up to the uh, stress and the difficulties of being a senator? Dugworth is a little shy of having twice as much cash on hand as Kirk does. A lot of her money is coming from labor unions. Kirk's campaign manager says the National Republican Senatorial Committee is coming to their aid, as is the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. And at least one outside super PAC is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to attack Duckworth's record on national security. Brett, back to you. Mike Tobin in Chicago. Mike, thanks.